Have you ever attempted something that you thought was going to be easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and it turned out to be difficult, difficult, lemon difficult? Well, the easy answer is your mother. Perfect. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions. It's up, Corbin. Accent on the squeezy. And you can follow us on Instagram. Instagram. Twitter. Juicy content. Subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell. It solidifies into a rock hard solidification. <laughs> is that a word? Prist- it is. I, I, solidification? I, the word, I use that word. I wrote that word in, into Barbarian. He solidification? Says that, yeah, he says, my hatred of that man turned into a pristine solidification. And you were talking about... Jeez. Who are you talking about? <laughs> he was talking about his father. Oh, I yeah. thought that it was the devil talking. No, it was Regulus talking about his dad. Regulus and Remus. Romulus. Because you know what his dad does to punish him. Do you remember? What... what Regulus' dad does to him to punish him. Butt stuff. No, but that was a very common way for a man to demean and punish his servants and his, his sons, who has sodomy in ancient Rome. But no, he castrates him. Did they say no homo before? Remember when that used to be a thing? People would do something and they would deem it to be something that was homosexual, but they didn't want people to think they were gay. And so they said, well, they would no say homo. if, yeah, they, if the, the, very the, problematic. Yeah. It, the, it was, if you're receiving, it's a homosexual act. If you're giving, it's not. Yeah. Stupid idiots. This is nothing to do with the video. Nothing at all. Today, we got an interesting video. This is called the world's only floating national park. Oh, Which, I don't even know what that means. I don't, I don't, but it's in on Indian. water or on air located in the Indian state of oh. Manipur. Interesting. It's the world's only floating wildlife sanctuary. The park's Loktak Lake, the largest freshwater lake in northern India, is a spectacular sight. I'll let the video explain it. Great. But it's an India India kind of uh, national park, which is really cool. It looks really cool just from the little scale yeah. we have there. Uh, and A floating national park. Super intrigued. In the Indian state of Manipur, you will find Kaipalamjau National Park, the oh. world's only floating wildlife sanctuary. Why does that sound like Scarlett Johansson? It does. Kaipalamjau comprises over 15 square miles of rich, biodiverse wetlands and includes Loktak Lake, the largest freshwater lake in northern India. Are those man made? known for patches and rings of biomass that float on the surface of the wetlands. Oh, biomass. The floating vegetation, called fumdi, thrives in the park, creating a home for humans and animals alike. Wow. The endangered sangai, a subspecies of brow antler deer, are only found in the park. They have been called the binding soul between humans and nature. Aww. The Sangai was believed to be nearing extinction in the 1950s, but thanks to aggressive conservation efforts, their numbers have steadily increased to more than 200. Keep it going. Still relatively unknown outside the region, Kaibulamjau National Park is truly one wow. of the most hidden gems. Wow, he lives on... Oh, that's... Oh, that's so sad. It's so short. So are they man-made? The circles? I don't believe so. That doesn't look How like does they that are. How happen if it's a natural thing that is just... I think in the same they, way lily pads form. Well, lily pads one specific thing. This is looks like Yeah, but a, lily pads can combine together and create a large thing. But why circles? Why wouldn't it just create I, a yeah, mass? I have I have no idea. Interesting. I'm so intrigued. And yes, save them more. Two hundred is still too low. And I wonder and I'm sure there's info we need to know about when it as it pertains to climate change and what's gonna happen with water level rise impacting this region yeah uh yeah i'm so so intrigued um by it looks cool for one and i've never heard of something like that not at all in my life yep 
Um, points to state of minutes because it's only floating park. Only floating park. So are they all those things floating? They must be. Kind of similar to lily pads. Yeah. And how they float. Yep. But why the circles? Yeah. Interesting as I'm to just, why do they grow in circles? I just want to know. I know. I, what? Aliens. When in doubt. When you don't know what's going on. It's the aliens. Just, you give credit to the aliens. Always. That was my write-in on algebraic equations I didn't know the answer to. I would just put aliens. And some of the time I got it right. <laughs> If you don't know what we're referencing no it's some of you video. don't know it's an old video where anyway the park is a swamp with floating mass of vegetation created by a cruel of organic garbage and biomass with soil particles that has been thickened into a solid form called pumdis at the southeastern side of the loktok lake interesting very cool i'm I'd l- uh, what else is on there? Or it's only Besides the, those beautiful know. deer, what else is living in and around that? How big is it? Probably like how, fish. How many, how many acres of, of land slash waters going on over there? Guys, I know some of you know the information. So please let me know. Um, and this, this takes me back to the idea of like dirty jobs where well, you could actually go visit a place like yeah, this yeah, yeah, yeah. and then talk about what's currently going on and what climate change is going to do to it if people don't act in a certain way to, to, to... Well, I think it's a lake. Yeah. And so I don't think it'll be affected by, unless the, there's a... It uh, depends on where its source is coming yeah, from. Yeah, where, where the source is coming from. Yeah. But it's a freshwater lake. Okay. So, well, climate change will obviously affect that, obviously, but India is not also hurting for... You rain. know, and it, and it, exactly. And it depends on... It's northeastern, so that's... A good. It also depends it's on gonna how get rain. you guys store your rain. I mean, yeah. because here in America that we store differently. In like in San Antonio, Texas, we had an aquifer, an aquifer, a that's natural, literally a knock, a, a, a lake underground. Yeah, basically. Uh, and then here in LA, we have no water. Uh, no, yeah, <laughs> but we our, get it from mostly it's the from mountains. the mountains, or we steal it from other states. Yeah, uh, our, we get. I don't know what the percentage is, is but a huge proportion of that is. We get the snowpack in the winter, and then as it melts off, it comes down through the Central Valley and to us. Yeah. Um, so I don't know how it's certain regions, obviously, store them, but obviously India is uh, not which, hurting for rain. It's amazing to me that we haven't really honed in the science of desalinization to work out coastal cities to be able to take the salt water and desalinize it. <laughs> well, they have. There's just there's it's expensive. There's problems, and it could also, with how they take the salt out, and how they're disposing of that mm. waste that they do it from, right? Um, it is also hurting the environment, <laughs> and so it's kind of like this <laughs> catch twenty two. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure they if they put enough money, they could figure it out. But yeah, it's um, they're not, that's not where people are putting their money in right now. Not if they if they put enough money into it to figure it out. If people figured out a way to make money off of it, they'd figure it out. I'm sure Elon, you can yeah. find a way to do that. No, 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 no. He doesn't care about Earth. He wants to go to outer space. He cares far more about outer space than Did he does Did you know Earth. that uh, almost anybody can save $100,000 to go to Mars? Direct quote. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, no, he has electric cars, so he cares about Earth. It's true. He totally does. Uh, anyways, this was really cool, and I want to know a lot more information. Yeah, uh, really. Because I, I'm quite intrigued. I would, if you, has any, have any of you ever been? Any of you live in or near? Because that, that is super interesting to me. I love all these natural nature kind of... God, that's so interesting. I'm just looking it at an really aerial is. shot. It almost looks like... It almost looks like a microscopic shot of something. And maybe that's kind of what it is just on a large scale. It's like microcosm is kind of like what sh- makes that shape. I want to see underwater photography in there too. Mm. Go underneath those yeah. things and see what it looks like from underneath. Super, super interesting. Yeah. Uh, please let us know more information about this and other uh, tours and videos or stuff that we can learn. We always like to learn to be less dumbs. Uh, <laughs> getting less dumber every day. Less stupider by the moment. Some people think we're getting more stupider by the day. It's perfunctory. 